Feeling stuck in your network marketing business? 9 tips to get you back in the game. Feeling stuck in your business, stuck in your mindset, or stuck in a rank? The truth is, you're probably not really and literally stuck in the slightest, you'll be uninspired, you'll be too obsessed with what's not working, and you'll be too stuck in your head. So if you have that paralysis by analysis, I'm going to help you get unstuck and move forward to jumpstart your business, your life, all the elements that are most vital to you. Let's get down to business. Feeling stuck in your business? 9 Tips to Propel You Back Into Action 1. Why did you start a home business? It's hard because one person is stuck because they are not doing the work, while another is stuck because even though they are doing the work, they are not acting on themselves. The truth is, there are different levels of fear and different types of stinking thinking and I've been through them all. In fact, there are days, believe it or not, when I feel stuck too. But part of the reason I have so much motivation is that I remember what it's like to wish I was broke and that I never want to travel there again. So my first question for you is, why did you start? What motivated you to start a home business? Remember that feeling, remember where you came from, the struggle and the hunger you had. It's not just about working harder, it's also about working smarter. It's about being more efficient and simpler because you need to protect some time and energy. Pro tip, are you excited about your business? Say it to your face. Smile. Make live videos. When you send messages to people, record your voice so they can hear your tone and enthusiasm. Why? Because people follow strength, not weakness. They follow enthusiasm and sharpness. So find your passion and start presenting differently. Number 2. Hold yourself accountable. We hold ourselves accountable because then, we develop daily habits and disciplines. For example, you will wake up earlier or recover in social media marketing. That's the hard part of network marketing. We have to really take an honest check to ourselves and we have to size ourselves up. And actually, give yourself grace, don't be too hard on yourself. But let's be honest. Immediately check out the top earners in your company. How do they appear different from you? How is their character? Are they people of integrity? Do they love what they do? Think about their attributes and then believe yourself. Do you have those same attributes? IMP, do things even when you don't want to do them. If you want a steak lifestyle, you can't have hot dog habits. Number 3, track your numbers. Track not only your personal activity, but also your numbers on a daily, weekly and monthly basis. I take a screenshot every night of my volume. Why? Because I'd like to understand what proportion of volume we did in the last 24 hours. And if you're thinking to yourself, my team isn't that big yet let me ask you this, how do you think I got here? Do you think I started tracking my numbers and my tracking after we started killing it? The answer is clear, but just in case it isn't, no. I started with that mentality once I was part-time. If you can't build your business part-time, you'll never make it to full-time. Why? Because in network marketing, it's a team effort. You may not be building a full-time income yet, but that's the key word, yet. You're building inspiration. Think of it like building a house, you have to put the inspiration in first and brick by brick, eventually you'll have a house. It's an equivalent thing, every customer, every new distributor, every person you bring into your business is going to help you create your house. Work ethic and determination can help you make an honest income. But if you want to build a great income, you buy for leverage. You have to make systems so your business can grow with or without some time and energy. Number 4. Keep moving and create good habits. A body in motion tends to stay in motion. Try this. Once you don't want to exercise, push yourself to exercise for 5 minutes. Watch what happens. You begin to understand for 5 minutes, breaking a sweat, then made the decision to travel for quarter of an hour. Before you recognize it, you've been at the gym for an hour and a half and you feel good. It's somewhat equivalent with the ATM, sending prospecting messages and all the hours of energy. Just say, I'm going to follow up with 5 or 10 customers slash 5 or 10 people I've done an ATM on. Real quick, I'm getting to sit down and get it done. That's when the law of inertia kicks in. So, if you're stuck, you have to start getting back into motion. Repeat an equivalent thing over and over again until it becomes a habit and you're sitting out, if not rolling in the hay. Pro tip. Start creating small victories. Because sometimes it's good to just own something that you'll cross off your to-do list. Number 5. Avoid distractions and negativity. Avoid distractions and negativity, especially during your power hours and or when you're struggling in your business. You need to possess that undivided attention where no one can mess with you. No distractions. You can have kids, pets, etc. But tell your spouse, 
Listen, honey, I want 60-90 minutes. Go entertain the kids. This is usually my time to move my business forward. Number 6, join or create a challenge. Join a video challenge or make a challenge together with your team. Another thing you'll do is hire a teacher or invest during a course. The important thing is to take a stand in yourself and commit. Do something uncomfortable for 7 days slash 14 days. Stretch yourself, stretch your clients, stretch your network. Find something that makes you plan and engage with your people. Spend $500 on a course or hire a teacher. Because once you invest in something, I guarantee you're going to have more motivation. Growth is on the opposite side of discomfort. Number 7. Go back to basics. Sometimes, that's all you need to do. Go back to the fundamentals and do what you probably did in the beginning. And maybe you never did any of the items you were supposed to do, like A-teaming your bully out, setting up group chats, or making live videos unboxing your new products. So it's time to try them now. And I'm catching up, it's awkward. But you have to master the mundane. Network marketing can be a very simple business. Don't overcomplicate it. Here's what I do. When someone says they're interested, I add them to a group equivalent to the one I've been adding them to for as long as I've been doing the ATM system. Then I tag them within the same videos that I've even tagged numerous others in and discovered in a group chat. So master the mundane and specialize in the fundamentals. Then all you have to try and do is teach an equivalent process to your people and duplicate it. It's that simple. Because if it's complicated, confused people don't do anything. Number 8. Help people. The best thing you can do to assist yourself is to assist others. Whenever I feel stuck or have no energy, it's typically because I'm focused on myself. One of the explanations why I've been so successful, in my humble opinion, is because I even have a giver mentality. I'm a problem solver. What I've specialized in over the years is finding ways to help people solve their own problems. The sooner you realize it's not about you, the faster you'll get unstuck. Give the spotlight to others. Recognize what you'd like to see repeated. For example, if someone is doing the work, highlight that person. That does two things. It motivates them to keep doing it. Think of all the opposing people who want that same recognition. Now they know what they have to try to urge it. It all starts with you helping people. Whether they're on your team or not, whether it's someone you recognize or not. You have a miracle in your mouth. And other people need to hear your story and your perspective. Number 9. Develop a vision. You have to develop a vision for yourself, for your business and for your future. What do you want life to look like? Do you have a dream board? If you don't, create one. Who do you want to become? Because you have to have passion, but you can't have passion for something if you don't have a vision for it. One of the explanations why I am so disciplined is because I even have a lot of gratitude for my business and the people I work with. It took me 16 years to get to six figures a month. We've jumped through hoops. But what kept me going? My passion for seeing people win. And once I recognized what I was good at and what I liked, it became something I got hooked on. There's someone in your company who's winning. Reach out to them. Ask them for advice. And then, let them know that you are doing the work and really roll in the hay. The simplest people to teach are the ones who actually do the work we recommend. These were my 9 tips to help you get unstuck, which one are you going to put into practice today? Let me know in the comments. And if you found value during this training, share it with your teammates.